Intel's upcoming Arc Alchemist gaming graphics cards may be considerably slower than we thought, which doesn't bode well for their future considering the fact that they aren't even released yet and their competitors are gearing up to launch next-gen GPUs later this year. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. In my previous video, we discussed how Intel was basically MIA with their desktop gaming GPUs, also known as Arc or Alchemist. This was actually quite a concerning matter to me because last year I was quite hyped for a third player to join the market and bring some more competition, as more competition is what will drive better prices and more innovation. However, we still don't really have a clear picture as to when Intel will be releasing their GPUs for the desktop DIY market, if at all. Along with that, there are rumors and leaks circulating around next-gen GPUs from AMD and Nvidia, so this is really only going to end up being a very uphill battle for them. Now, for this video, what I wanted to focus on was the recent information that has come from 3dcentral.org, who are a German tech hardware news site, and these guys are regularly posting some very interesting articles. They were at the forefront of tracking GPU prices during the mining boom, and I'll have a link to their website and this particular article in the video description so you guys can check it out for yourselves. 3D Center were actually one of the first outlets to report on the performance of Intel's flagship A780 graphics card earlier this year based on the info we had at the time. Recently, there were some press slides released by Intel in China for the official launch of the ARC A380 graphics card for the desktop DIY market. This is supposed to be an entry-level GPU featuring 8 Z cores, 1024FP32 cores, 6GB of GDDR6 memory for roughly $153, US although that's just taking the price that was in Yuan, so it could be different here in North America. Intel claims that this GPU is up to 25% faster than an RX 6400, which, you know, really isn't that ex impressive considering the latter only managed to deliver GTX 1650 performance according to a hardware unboxed review, a GPU which is 3 years old at this point and launched for $100. US dollars. Also, according to 3D Center, when it comes to real world performance, the A380 is actually only about 4% faster. The reason why this is pretty noteworthy is because initially they had estimated that the A380 would be slightly better than an RX 6500. Had that been the case and it launched for 149, then it would have been a lot better, but it turns out it's a whole tier slower. As the market is presently constructed, Gone are the days where the entry level and mainstream segment were receiving cards that brought previous gen flagship level performance for less than $200. Now you get the same if not worse performance that could have been had for the same price 3 years ago. It's a joke but unfortunately this is what we have to deal with and there's not much we can do until you know people actually start voting with their wallets. Getting back to the topic on hand, 3D Center have now revised their performance projection for Intel Arc GPUs. Some of the info here may seem a bit wonky considering this is a translated webpage, but it says according to an updated projection, the largest Intel solution Arc A780 should now have to struggle to follow a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, and the rest of the portfolio had to be downgraded accordingly. This then comes as a further breaking point compared to a larger scale launch of the Alchemist desktop graphics cards. The original performance target is probably not fully met. And here you can see that they have this table with the previous projection versus the updated projection, which they're now placing the flagship ARC 780 as roughly being on par with an RTX 3060 Ti, and the A750 being roughly on par with a RTX 3060 non-Ti. Seeing this is quite disappointing, I would have really liked to have seen one of their GPUs being competitive with AMD's or Nvidia's mid to high end offering, whereas now at best their flagship can only compete against a mid range offering. At the bottom of this article, 3D Center states this. The other breaking point is that a graphics card launch in the summer of 2022 will automatically be compared with the autumn launch of next gen graphics cards from AMD and Nvidia. And seen from this perspective, it actually doesn't stand a chance. In other words, once these GPUs hit the market, they'll be compared against AMD's and Nvidia's next gen offerings, which is exactly the point I was trying to get across in my last video. Like imagine the A780 launches for $450, then later this fall we have an RX 7700 XT, an RTX 4070 released around that $500 mark, 
offering performance that's comparable to an RTX 3080 Ti. It's gonna look absolutely hysterical. There's only two ways this goes. They can price the GPUs accordingly. If they offer the RTX 3060 Ti performance for $300 come this fall, they might have a chance, but given the current pricing of their ARC 380 GPU, I just don't see that happening, which means they're going to release the GPUs at price points comparable to what their last gen counterparts go for from their competitors, and it's going to be a bloodbath. I've heard some rumors where Intel may not even release the GPUs to consumers where we can go to Newegg and order them online, but they'll probably pose them as a limited edition launch where you can only buy them from Intel directly. Positioning their GPUs as some limited edition stock gives them some kind of justification for high prices. And don't get me wrong, I'm not defending this. I'm just saying this is what they'll try to do as a means to sell the GPUs at higher prices despite performance not being adequate. The only consumers who will end up buying this will be the hardcore Intel fanboys, but for the rest of us, well, we're simply going to ignore them and continue to keep buying Nvidia or AMD until Intel can actually offer something competitive. I'm afraid Intel's Arc GPUs will be simply DOA. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.